Alrighty, welcome back. And we are just rolling right along here in unit two biological basis. Make sure you caught the first video on neurons, the second one on the nervous system, and let's go ahead and get rolling in endocrine system. Please be sure that you've got your notes because they follow lockstep with these slides in this video. And you can find that at the link below where you're watching. Let's get to it. The biggest learning target for this video and these sets of notes is understanding the endocrine system, of course, but how it has an effect on your behavior. So it's going to be a pretty quick one because we don't have a lot, a lot of targets here. So what is it? What is the endocrine system? Well, it's the body's counterpart to the nervous system. If the nervous system is an electrochemical, super fast, almost like electricity going through the body, then the endocrine, endocrine system is the body's slower chemical communication system and it works by releasing hormones received only at specific spots in the body into the bloodstream okay so if the nervous system works through neurons through nerves then the endocrine system works through the bloodstream with hormones You'll see in this image here that I give you each of the glands that are involved in the endocrine system. And each of these glands release their very own specific, got a certain function and job hormone into the body. Some of them can be released over just like a few hours. Some of them are released over weeks, months, even years of your life because they allow you what to grow, develop, and metabolize. So let's talk about those specifics here. So under normal circumstances, the endocrine system works with our parasympathetic nervous system. If you forget about that one, just turn back and look back in your notes. That's the one that brings us back to rest and digest, back to homeostasis. So it the endocrine system works with that parasympathetic nervous system to keep us at homeostasis and normal levels of functioning. But then also in a crisis, in a stressful situation, the endocrine system works to support the sympathetic nervous system when responding to those crises, right? To those stressful situations. Okay, let me, let's, I feel like the best way to go about this is to say, okay, what if this happened? Let's look at an example. Let's say you are in a gas station while it's being robbed, right? That's a stressful situation. The criminal pulls a gun on you and the clerk, the attendant behind the desk. Your endocrine system will release adrenaline, which the technical terms is epinephrine and norepinephrine into the bloodstream from the adrenal glands. And if you look back in this slide, the adrenal glands are these little guys on top of each of your, I believe, kidneys. Yes. Okay, so you're in the gas station. So it releases epinephrine from your adrenal glands, hence adrenaline, right? Sustaining your body's defensive reaction of fight or flight, which was started by your nervous system, by your sympathetic nervous system. So the two systems really work together here. The endocrine system really finishes up what the nervous system starts. It keeps your heart pounding, your muscles tense, all ready for action. So again, the nervous system with the sympathetic nervous system allows you to maybe for like 5, 10, 15, maybe up to an hour, have that initial fight or flight reaction. Whereas the endocrine system is what allows you to have it over longer periods of time. Let me ask you a question. Have you ever had some kind of argument or confrontation, whether that's with a sibling, with a friend, with mom or dad, hopefully not a boss, but you know, just anybody, right? You've, had, you've got some drama and some confrontation with them and it comes to a head, like full on, one-on-one, -on -one, like arguing, you're heated, you're probably saying things that you're gonna regret later, all of those things and you're really angsty and worked up, right? Of course, I mean, we all experience that especially as teenagers, right? Um, and then let's say it's like hours later. It's over. Um, hopefully you've forgiven each other, asked, you know, given apologies, blah, blah, blah. And you still feel like you think about it and you still, like your heart bite still picks up a little bit or like you feel kind of tense and ready to go again. Um, that is leftover adrenaline in your system still, right? The endocrine system lasts longer than the nervous system. 
All right, so let's talk about these specific parts. The pituitary gland is in your brain, right? It's the master gland of the endocrine system. And I give you kind of a zoomed in picture here of where it is. It regulates the activity of all other glands in the endocrine system. Um, it's under the control of the hypothalamus and the hypothalamus being part of the brain is part of the nervous system. So that's really the link between the two systems. So the pituitary gland then sends out hormonal signals to other endocrine glands, letting them know, hey, you need to do your job now. All right, the next one is the thyroid. This is kind of like around the Adam's apple area for dudes, right, in your throat. Um, and it's super important. It regulates metabolism, physical growth and development, your calcium rate, all of these things that contribute to you growing, um, metabolizing food, using energy. You've got your adrenal glands, right, in your midsection. You've got, think like in your back, you've got those two kidneys, right? And right on top of there are these fleshy looking weird things. Those are your adrenal glands. They regulate fight or flight um, and help with metabolism as well. They're going to release adrenaline, epinephrine and norepinephrine into your bloodstream, allowing you to like skydive or like fight off a robber, right? All right, your pancreas. Um, is in like there's your gallbladder in there and it's kind of like it's a really weird looking structure isn't it so your pancreas actually regulates the level of sugar or glucose in the blood so, so for um, diabetic patients diabetic patients are the ones who are having issues with their insulin levels insulin is the hormone released by your pancreas that allows you to regulate the sugar in your blood and that's it and then we have the gonads, the very, very awkward part that we have to talk about here, but they're part of the endocrine system. Um, and so have you ever heard, oh, your body's just rushing with hormones? Like think of a woman's menstrual cycle around puberty, all of those things. Well, it's actually accurate. Like it makes me have a big, huge eye roll because annoying that we're talking about that again, but it is true. These are the hormones that last over weeks, months, years of your life, um, especially in the peak of your reproductive phases in life. So they regulate bodily development of those secondary sexual development, meaning things that make you a woman or a man, but are not your reproductive organs. So think breasts, think broad shoulders on men, that kind of thing, um, and maintain reproductive organs as well. So produce the sperm in men and the eggs in women. Okay, here is a big connection that you've got to be making between the last video and set of notes you took and this one. And this is a question that I want you to reflect on individually, jot it down in your notes, and then talk about it in class the next time you're there. How do the nervous and endocrine systems work together in a very physical sense? And I've kind of already said this before, but I want you to point it out. For instance, how do the adrenal glands know when to secrete epinephrine or adrenaline? Okay, so if you need, go ahead and pause, reflect on that question, get it answered on a post-it note or in your notes, and be ready to talk about that in class. All right, guys, that's what I've got for you on the endocrine system. Now, get ready. The next video is going to be a long one, and it's all about the brain. There's actually two sets of notes that we go through in that one, and there's going to be two videos on the brain all by itself. So go ahead and click in that playlist to find those videos, and I'll see you there.